Alright, you guys can shut the fuck up now. Alright. So how's it going, YouTube? I've been doing more soul searching and... Actually... It was Thursday, right? Thursday night. Thursday night. Thursday night. I got to see a show based on my neighborhood. You already know that I tend to rep my hood a lot. In fact, that's kind of what's given me the reputation of being a little bit psychotic. But we'll get to that in a second. Now, first and foremost, I'm not a live reality TV show guy. I think that the Jersey Shore fucks are degenerates. That Laguna Beach, the hills... This is for degenerates by degenerates. With that said, a cheeseburger from McDonald's arguably tastes really fucking good. It's not good for you, but it tastes good. With, and along with that, a fish fillet from McDonald's isn't good for you, and it tastes like shit. That's kind of what the show is like. Because you see, here we're being given a show that's not really going to enrich you, but it's not going to entertain you either unless you have a bunch of goons in the back that you can talk shit to the TV with. But if you're that motherfucker that likes to make little comments while the TV is playing, odds are you're going to get slapped well deservingly in the back of the fucking head. Now, there's several things wrong with this show that not only make it unintelligent but devoid of any entertainment first and foremost is the fact that where the fuck are the bad bitches at none of these girls can get me an erection even if not, I'm inside them even if I'm inside them I can't get a hard on my shit will be limp and that's a little out of character so let me start off by saying that I take it back I take back any cool thing I've said to any girl out there Cause that one chick was ugly as all fuck. Agreed. Agreed. <coughs> that is not a good looking girl. I have no idea who recruited her to be in this television show. But just do, don't believe the hype. That is not what a bad bitch looks like in the heights. You wanna know? I've told this to my friends, uh, shout out to Derek Cruz, that... All the bad girls in my middle school, in my elementary schools, from the heights, I can't talk to them now because I'm shy, but because they're pregnant, they already have the kid probably. It's over. There's nothing I can do about that. A real bad bitch in the heights in New York, the city of dreams, third world nation type neighborhood, is going to get Eating up, man. It's gonna be over for her when she hits puberty. A real bad bitch. It's gonna be... If you're gonna have... You're gonna have to keep her on lock, guys. You're gonna have to keep her on lock, because she's gonna get pregnant on the fucking spot. Agreed. And this, this, these girls aren't fitting that into that archetype. That white girl, though... That white girl could get it, but it's too bad she's with that Bruno Mars fuck that's using her as a beard, which is slang for a cover-up to reveal the fact that he's a gay Puerto Rican. That guy's not Dominican. He's Puerto Rican. He is Puerto fucking Rican. I get mistaken for a Puerto Rican, so I'm not going to pass judgments and accuse him of that, but I legitimately think that he's an actual Puerto Rican. That guy shouldn't be in the height. That guy should be in Fordham. <laughs> Moreover, that baseball... Well, actually, let's go to the main issue right now, which is that crappy-ass fight, which some people might argue is the highlight of that show. That three-second Minuteman fight. <laughs> what was that? Is that how two bitches in the Heights fight? I've seen better fights in World Star hip-hop. And don't tell me that you go to World Star to... 
actually watch the hip hop videos instead of the fight scenes and all that crazy shit. Cause if you are, then you're even worse degenerate. <coughs> Damn. Fuck. Shit. Okay, this YouTube's gonna censor the fuck out of this video. Actually, going back to a previous video, I actually started watching some of my older videos and. Some of the spots actually do get bleeped out by YouTube automatically. I don't know, they have this technology now, some Illuminati magic or some shit. Because I said, motherfucker, and it went to mother Okay, I'm like, what the fuck? That can't be this laptop, so YouTube's been fucking with me. I heard that or somebody edited my videos when I was, like, taking a piss or some shit. But... Regardless, going ahead into the subject here, what's worthy to talk about? The show is just fucking bad. I agree with you. That is the most real thing I've ever seen. Rooftop. The rooftop. That's what I should be talking about. Never happens. Guys, we do not party in rooftops. I've had a party on a rooftop. I've had that. But I had it in the fucking suburbs. <laughs> I had it in the fucking suburbs. And even then, I was treated like a psychotic motherfucker. And whatever. It doesn't happen. We do a lot of crazy shit. I remember in 2009 when the Yankees won the World Series. That happened in 2009, right? I'm not bullshitting. Yeah. Please don't. Okay. Because I'm not going to Google this shit. I don't want to hear you guys quickly clap. But... When I remember the day after, I don't follow baseball, but the day after I actually walked to school, I went to the bus. All of the trees were covered in toilet paper. The bus driver was in tears, crying out, this is what they do. They destroy their own neighborhoods to celebrate. And he was on his real fucking talk. This big black bus driver. I think he's seen Helen back. <laughs> Way longer than I have because he's probably there since the morning <laughs> driving that shit. They destroyed their own fucking neighborhood. This is how we wreck shop. Dominican parade, Puerto Rican parade. We do not fuck around. We throw a celebration. We do it third world nation. So 181st St. Nick. Y'all already know. We fuck shit up. But we do not have rooftop parties. You stupid ass Hollywood motherfuckers. Suck my dick MTV. Yeah, I'm going hard. We do not do that shit. Where'd you guys come up with this? Were you guys in another hood? Do they do this in Queensbridge? Oh, and by the way, that Mama Sushi place and that uh, park you guys were in, that's Inwood. I went to middle school in Inwood, you dumb motherfuckers. A 13-year-old could understand where this is right and where this is wrong. Van Cortland? Riverdale? Are you kidding me? I think I saw even them driving from the heights <coughs> of Flybridge or from Flybridge. What the fuck? You guys gotta be kidding me. Yeah, you guys, MTV, you gotta get your facts straight because. All right, you got the you got the grandma part. There was the abuelita, and. That part was accurate, the kitchen part, uh, with that Dominican wannabe baseball player. How are you 20 and you're trying to be in the little leagues, you dumb motherfucker? And the MLB, or NBL, or I don't know. They give out contracts to anybody for a million dollars. Kidding? Got so many useless teams. And you're going on a little league. I'll be honest, the one part that was good... And you guys aren't going to believe this is the dad. The dad in prison, that guy actually made an emotional scene. They should have put... If they're going to have a spine for this plot, for this character, it shouldn't have been his weird love triangle with them two ugly bitches. It should have been with that dad. Because that guy did the best acting. He was the only one who's charismatic, who actually created an emotional reaction. And it sucked you into the plot. Where everybody else kind of... Put you in this non-trans <coughs> state where you're basically an outsider looking out. I can't be that when I'm watching a show about my own neighborhood thinking, what the fuck is this? Exactly. Show me the neighborhood 
or a spot in the Heights where they have rooftop parties. And now niggas in my school and everywhere around are saying that they're from the Heights. They're swearing that they're from the Heights. I know where it has a rooftop parties. My uptown. <laughs> Uptown, my uptown. That poetry sucked. Her friends are being fake, cause that's what fake friends do. You, they see you doing a performance, and they say, "Wow, that's a wavy ass performance." Same with that rapper. They should have got Big Banga, Sir Rock the Goon. They should have got those guys. How the fuck is this a ten minute video, and I still got so much shit to talk about? What's up with that? Okay. Yeah. I actually, you know, I'm not a reformist, but if you leftist liberal fucks are gonna reform for anything, reform for an actual suburb in the Heights. I actually want to see that just to see it. Just to see it. And I will meet you halfway. I'll tell you where you should do it. But that's for another story. <clears throat> Okay, any more bullshit I can talk about? Mm. Mm. Talk about the wannabe rapper, Audubon, or Atomic Bomb, or whatever his name is. He was. calls himself Audubon. This is one of those weird things where they're trying to seem relevant like they knew what the fuck happened what from the that? heights. What is with... up with that name? Audubon? Uh, I mean, like we know that that's a straight in the heights like fucking try hard ass motherfucker. Yeah, I'm from the Heights. My name is Audubon. Like Do I call myself Haven? Do I call myself Haven? Look into my fucking eyes. Do I call myself Haven? Damn. Niggas is trying hard. They try to do this thing where they're trying to be relevant, where they're saying that, okay, prices for rent is really high. Okay, we get that. Rent can be a little high in the Heights. Why niggas is moving in because of it. That's part of a lot of the cr complaints within the Heights. I've known this since 2008. You guys don't have to bring it up. I mean, if you guys are going to try and be relevant, why don't you bring celebrities that were actually from the Heights? Alicia Keys, that guy that played Carlton Banks in the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. You could have brought that guy in, had him dance for five minutes, and that would have saved the whole fucking show. You could have included everything stupid in that... But if you had him for five minutes, that would have saved the show because everybody knows him and everybody loves him, I hope. Because if you don't, then there's something wrong with you. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. And he's like so surprised because nobody's tweeting for, retweeting his little thing for his little rap show. He's a joke. His rap show is a joke, man. Two chains would have done a better performance. Lil B would have done a better performance. <laughs> you want me to pay for that shit? I wouldn't pay for that shit. And it, and you know when MTV's in front of the camera <clears throat> for a show, it's probably gonna get at, in his debut episode at least thousands upon thousands of viewers, maybe even millions. And the mom is questioning. Yo, what are you going to do with your future? This music thing isn't for you. You know that if she's saying that and then TV's on your corner, that there is no fucking hope for your future as a rapper. Or an actor. Or an actor, definitely. And the cameras are always in your <coughs> face. I mean, this is something that I've really noticed a lot in the Heights. And I don't think it's just these guys. Y'all niggas can't act. I've, I've seen actual theater performances... Y'all niggas can't fucking act. Some of you can. A lot of y'all niggas can't act. I've been to plays and shit like that. Mm -hmm. These niggas can't act to save their lives. Especially that troll. The, the poem troll. Oh, definitely. Uptown, my uptown. What the fuck is up with that? <laughs> you got a bunch of thugs clapping. And then we don't even understand what just happened. <laughs> I'm going to continue this part too, guys. I, I think I got a lot of things I need to get off my fucking chest.